Now, somewhere in the deserted pantry of my soul, there is an instant noodle. And instant noodles, of course, have had a very bad press over the years. But there are actually lots of excellent instant noodles in the world from Korea, China, Thailand and Japan. And it should be noted that Japan Airlines serves instant noodles in the posh seats. Or so I've been told by people who sit there. I have here some Japanese instant noodles. They are ramen flavour and their history is very interesting because after World War II, when the Japanese were pretty much starving to death and they had been occupied by the Americans, the Americans were worried that a hungry nation would become a communist nation. So what they did was flooded Japan with cheap American wheat in the belief that the Japanese would then make bread and they would be fed. But the Japanese said, no, 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 no. We don't eat bread, we eat noodles. And enterprising people in Japan used the cheap wheat to make instant noodles, which were invented in 1958. And then later, in 1971, they were turned into the even more instant cup noodle. So this sort of thing is one of those foods that saved a nation. Now let's move west to another food that saved nations. And that is, of course, Spam. Other types of processed canned meat are available. Spam was invented in the 1930s. It is a processed, quarantined pork product and a very high quality one at that. Now, we all know that it sustained armies, the Allied armies, during World War II. And after the war, when places like Britain were hard up, it was a sort of substitute for things like bacon. You could have it fried with eggs. A food that saved nations, a food that saved nations. Ramen, spam. We're going to bring them together in the spirit of peace and reconciliation and make a sort of Western Asian American Japanese fusion food that we're going to call Sparman. Please don't expect spam fritters. I will need flour, eggs and cornflakes. Later, I will be adding spring onions, chilli, pak choy and another egg, hard boiled. First, remove the spam from the tin, recognised as one of the most challenging jobs in human history. Here we go. Slice off, I would say, about somewhere between a quarter and a third of it. Put the rest aside because you will want that for your spam and pickle sandwich. Are you zoomed in on this? We're going to cut the spam into three fingers. Making sense? Dip your pieces of spam first in the flour, then in the egg, then in the cornflakes. Let's move ahead in the filming to a point where I've done all this successfully because this is quite dull. That's going to need probably three minutes, then I'll give it a turnover to make sure it's done completely. Right, let's make some noodles. Fill it up, you don't need me to tell you this, you fill it up to the line. You leave it for a minute or so, give it a little bit of a stir to make sure it's mixed up, leave it for another minute and a half and then it's ready. Okay, those I would say are done. They will stay hot for a while. So let's borderline overdone underneath, but it's all right, if you film it from the correct side, nobody need know. It smells amazing. <laughs> <laughs> They're not burnt. Yeah, it's not burnt, it's just well done. <laughs> <laughs> just... Uh, cut round it, you do that with everything else. You can't. <laughs> Nikki, I've screwed up. What's happened? Well, they're saying those are burnt. Are they burnt? I'd say they were nicely caramelised, but... Thank you. Um, yeah. They're burnt. Honestly, how can you say those are burnt? There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. That I made earlier. Good, right, we're almost ready to do this. I'm going to put my instant noodles into this bowl, ready. They're going to look a bit tragic by themselves. Now we're going to, I think we need a couple of those. 
We'll dunk them in there for about 30 seconds. I'm going to arrange the boiled egg to one side of the bowl. This is what makes it look professional, you see. Can you see it there, camera people? What caused that? Oh, a bit of water went in there. Yeah. Bugger it then. Two bits of artfully arranged bok choy. I reckon two pieces of that is enough. What do we think? Like that. A few bits of chilli, dusting of spring onion, and finally, I'm going to put in a little spoonful of chilli oil. So, viewers, for the first time on television, behold Sparman, where a utilitarian meat product from the 1930s becomes the gastric phenomenon of the 2020s. And it's all because of noodles. Fwah.